hey guys so welcome back to my channel and as i mentioned in my previous video in this video uh, we will make an arduino based project which will actually be the cloning of the dji tailor uh, the smallest drone from the dji but uh, bear in mind that this is not the actual design of the dji tailor so you won't be able to use this design as spare part and uh, in this video i will attempt to uh, solve the problems that you guys have had in the previous drone project and also the transmitter and receiver project so i will explain everything how to do it and you will be able to do it yourself i will also list the components that you will need so that you can buy it yourself and the coding also now this video will get a bit too long if i try to attempt uh, to make it in a single video so i will separate it in several i will separate this project in several videos i think it will be two or three parts in which i will cover everything and uh, and uh, let's get started so this is uh, the frame uh, i have designed it in solidworks and uh, sliced it using the cura ultimaker and i have 3d printed it in my homemade 3d printer and uh, you will be able to uh, print it yourself i will be sharing the stl files and uh, if you don't have a 3d printer you can print it to your near nearest uh, uh, 3d printing service or what you can do i will be sharing the template of this design so you can just uh, download the template uh, template print it and uh, stick it to a balsa wood and cut it to size alternatively you can uh, make the frame that i did in my previous video using this uh, gear and uh, motors and propellers now i will not must be doing this in this project instead i will try to make a smaller and uh, cheaper drone okay so what else you need is the rf nano now the RF Nano is actually the Arduino Nano uh, with an NF2401 module integrated. Uh, alternatively, you can use the regular uh, Arduino Nano with the SMD version of the NRF2401 module. Uh, but this will take a lot of space so and you will have a lot of work to do that, such as soldering it and all. But I will, tr I will also show you how to solder it. Uh, 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 which if you don't have the RF Nano you can use this one and you will also need the GY86 now the GY86 is a board that has three sensors and it has an accelerometer slash gyro, gyro sensor it has a MS5611 barometric sensor and the HMC 8A3L magnetometer. Now for this project, we will only need the MPU60 uh, accelerometer and gyro sensor and also the MS5611 uh, barometric sensor. Now if you can't get this one, I will be sharing the link where you, where you can buy this. But if you can't get this one, alternatively, you can uh, make uh, this uh, this sensor using the MPU6050 and the MS5611 uh, barometric sensor in one board. So these, these are in two separate boards and connect, connect it together to make the single uh, board. Now, you will need both of these uh, sensors for this project. I will explain why. <coughs> So we won't be using uh, this one. Instead, we will be using the GY86 uh, board. I will be sharing the links where you can buy it. And now this is the most important part here. Uh, this is actually a tiny, very tiny boost converter. And this is very, uh, very uh, uh, important for, for this project. And remember in my previous uh, project, you guys have had uh, the problem that you all you know was resetting so this will uh, be an attempt to uh, to resolve that problem you guys have had uh, me, me uh, in uh, the previous talking about this problem so I have uh, I have came out with a very simple solution which I will show you how to uh, do in this video and also you will need uh, the you will need the MOSFET. Now, this is also very important to control the speed of the motors. Now, this is a very tiny MOSFET. It is, it is actually the A2SHB uh, MOSFET. I don't think you will be able to see. Yes. So, this is a very tiny MOSFET. This I will be using this to save uh, space and uh, weight. Alternatively, you can use this MOSFET. This is quite big. 
it has a higher uh, current rating but it will add up space and uh, and uh, weight in this project so we won't be using this and then you will also need the short key diode this is the short key diode to uh, prevent uh, to prevent uh, uh, backward current to current to flow backward uh, this will uh, uh, prevent them uh, the the MOSFET from uh, burning out okay I will be sharing the links where you can buy this also and also you will need a 10k resistor uh, not one actually four so this will be used as pull down resistors I have with me the SMD version now I'm trying to use everything in SMD so that I can save a lot of say of space alternatively you can use the regular uh, resistors this one I don't think that it will add uh, much uh, weight in this project so you can use this one also if you don't have the SMD version and we will be using the 8520 uh, coalesce motor with a DJI Telu uh, propeller I will be sharing the links uh, where you can buy these also and you will also need a 1000 milliamp hour 3.7 volt uh, lipo battery now make sure you get the uh, the, the one with 20 C or above uh, this is very important uh, you, instead of using the very small uh, regular uh, LiPo battery you will also need uh, dampers now these are now these dampers are very important this uh, is used to reduce the vibration in the sensors for so that your drone can work properly so I will be sharing the links for this these also and you will also need the prototyping PCB okay and this one is the one with all the all the uh, copper uh, copper uh, strap uh, separately okay so let's get started i will explain to you how to uh, solder everything and what you guys need so first of all you will have to uh, to uh, make this uh, the place for the sensors now I will cut it to size this one to cut it so I'll just cut it and be back so I have already cut the prototyping PCB to size now this will fit here but uh, we also need to drill the holes uh, to fix it so there will be the hole here 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 so i will just uh, drill it using a far a free free uh, millimeter bit uh, with a drill so i'll just uh, drill it and be right back so I have already drilled all the holes and I have had a damper to test if the holes is good. So I have actually drilled it using a 3 millimeter drill bit and enlarged it a little bit using the, using the, uh, the knife. So you can enlarge it a little bit to fit in the dampers. Okay, so then you will need uh, the damp dampers. So these are the dampers right here. Now you will need uh, to uh, to put the 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 longer one at the bottom. So I'll just put it here and using my uh, my prior to uh, just put it right inside okay so once it gets over there you can just pull it to make it fit okay so there is two now the dampers is very important to reduce the vibration in the sensor to make your uh, drone works properly so i will add the other two so here it is i have added all the four dampers now we need to fix it here but uh, before that we need to actually add the sensor 
so i will show you how to solder the sensor here now to solder the sensor you can use this uh, to solder it to it then i need to the to the board but i will not be using this because this will also add up some weight instead what i will do i will use this copper strand from a wire and solder everyone uh, we will only need three of it so we will need the 3.3 volt the ground and no not the 3.3 we'll actually need the vcc in which is the 5 volt the ground and also the sel and sd so we will need only these four so i will just uh, solder it to these four so i have already soldered some wires so yes i have soldered it to the vcc the ground and the scl and the sd the scl and the sda is used for the i2c communication and we are not using the 3.3 volt uh, instead we are using the vcc in now with the vcc in you can uh, supply the board with uh, 5 volt and it has a an onboard 3.3 uh, volt regulator to regulate the voltage to 3 volt but uh, with our Arduino, our Arduino, the NRF is already uh, using some power from the 3.3 volts. So instead, I will power this using the 5 volt from the Arduino. So I have soldered this wire like this and I will just cut it to size. Okay, once this is done, now I will add it to uh, the board. Now uh, you can solder every thing uh the or uh, the everything uh together in a single board but i'm actually uh separating my board uh this is because uh, uh if i want to make another project i will be able to just uh, take out this board and use it in another project so that's why i'm separating my my board this is only for the sensors and uh, yeah, on other board there will be the voltage regulators the the uh, the electronic speed controller also so i'll just solder it at the back also now i have already soldered the wires here uh, to the sensor i mean the sensors have already been soldered to the board now we should be adding this to the board but we need uh, some more connection to do so this will fit perfectly on the on our draw here now this will only be used to uh, know the angle or rotation of the draw and also the uh, altitude of the draw and i'm trying to keep everything as light as possible so this is but this is very important the dampers is very important here and uh, now we need to add some wires to make the connection to the to the uh to the arduino now i have already soldered everything in place i have soldered the the orange wire for the vcc the black wire for ground yellow for scl and uh, purple for uh, sd now we need to make the connection to the rf nano to the arduino board and we also have to make the electronic speed controller for the brush motor this is a coolest uh, brush motor and uh, and uh, we also need to make the circuit for the electronic speed controller so but the, this video is getting quite long and it will be boring if i continue make uh, i continue this video so uh, what i will do i will just uh, end this video here and i will uh, continue with this uh, series in my next video which hopefully you will get on th saturdays uh, so uh, this uh, on saturday i will continue this project i probably have made all the videos but i will release it on tuesdays and saturdays so yes uh stay tuned for that guys now i could uh, continue this video but uh, there is a lot of things that you need to explain such as for the arduino for the rf nano this one or even the arduino nano with the nof we have to make sure first that our arduino is working fine 
uh, our NOF is working fine. For that, I will be running a test code on the on the Arduino's on the NOFs to make sure that they are receiving the the proper communication. So for that, I will have to do it in a separate videos and I will have to explain to you guys uh, properly because you guys have told me that your NOF is not working and I will uh, explain to you how to check if your NOF is good and if it's not good, you will have to replace your own NOF and buy another one. So in my next video, I will make a uh, complete circuit and explain to you uh, the, the, the circuit diagram and in my another video i will explain the coding in details and also for the transmitter and receiver so this will be it for this video guys and stay tuned for the next videos i will continue uh, making this video but uh, I'll, uh, before ending this video i'll just show you that um, our our uh, brushless mode our coalless motor will fit in this uh, in this uh, one here right there and put it inside and you will be having the uh, the clone of the dji tailor so this is it for the video uh, i will continue it uh, on my next video so stay tuned for that guys and if you guys have not yet subscribed make sure to subscribe to my video to my channel for the next videos and other upcoming videos and if you like this video also uh, push a like and see you next time guys